All right, uh, let's look at the homework 5.5, number 8. All right, so if you sketch the graph of these uh, two functions, um, they're going to look like this. Uh, you have a quadratic function, which gives you a parabola. Uh, since it's a negative uh, leading coefficient, uh, we have a facing down parabola. And then you have a straight line with slope 1, y minus up 2. So that's that's this guy right here. All right. So first, uh, we need to find the points of intersection, which is right here, which we kind of know, and uh, another point right there. All right. So uh, let's uh, set these two equations together. So you have a negative uh, x squared uh, plus 4x plus 2 is equal to x plus 2. All right. Uh, since uh, there's 2 on both sides, we can cancel those by subtracting 2 from both sides. All right. Then we're going to uh, we're going to probably uh, add x squared and uh, subtract 4x. All right. That way I, we can move uh, these two guys onto the other side. All right. So it's going to be nothing is left. So it's 0 is equal to um, x squared and minus uh, 3x. All right, so this one's easy to solve. Uh, factor out x and, of course, x minus 3. All right, so you can see that uh, x has to be from here, 0, and from here, positive 3, right? So we know that the here is at 0, and this one is obviously 3. All right, so we can find the area from here. Uh, so we set up the definite integral. A is equal to integral from 0 to 3. And the top curve is uh, negative x squared plus 4x plus 2. Then we subtract uh, x plus 2. All right. And of course, you have to put uh, dx here. All right. Simplify a bit. Uh, you have 2 minus 2, cancel out. And we can group uh, 4x and uh, minus x together. So we'll get um, integral from 0 to 3. Right? Then you have negative x squared. So that's this guy. And combining 4x and the negative x, so it's going to be a positive 3x dx, right? Then take the antiderivative, right? So it's a negative sign is already there. So x, uh, add 1 to the power, divide by that power. Plus uh, 3 is already there. You have x squared over 2. Right, then you're going from 0 to 3. Right, then uh, so plug in 3. Right, so if you plug in 3, 3 cubed is 27, divided by 3 is 9, so it's going to be negative 9 here. Right, plug in uh, 3 here, so it's going to be uh, 3 times uh, 9, 20, so plus 27. over 2, right, minus, plug in 0, uh, that's 0, plus, plug in 0, so that's 0, right, so this is equal to, right, 19 is uh, negative 18, over 2, 
uh, no, sorry, 9 is negative 18 over 2, plus 27. So that's uh, 27 minus 18 is 9, and over 2, right? That's the area, right? That's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.